all right uh, remove the fuel pump uh, relay so you don't want no fuel in your system now I'm going to start taking out the upper intake manifold and start removing that and then we're going to get to these plugs and throw these out hopefully uh, this engine is actually healthy and not horrible because I drove it like an hour so I'm going to start removing all these plugs upper intake manifold uh, you guys can see how uh, black they are I'm pretty sure it's running to rich probably gonna go with a different fuel pressure regulator uh, these are a radium Bosch but I don't know for me I like to use original uh, factory on each car I know the Bosch is like usually on the Europeans and case and uh, Denso and the Asians so I'm gonna stick with my Asians in here and um we're going to uh, start up uh, using a compressor test I'm going to figure out now which settings it goes here I'm going to do that right now all right this one fits I'm just going to uh, document everything I'm going to do cylinder number one first twist it on make sure your battery's 100% uh, charged or on the charger just hand tighten it then you grab your adapter, gauge your adapter, plug it in, and then crank the engine at least three, four times. And do that right now. Just show you guys. Start cranking it. Two hundred and what? Below twenty. I gotta figure out what's those lines. I'll let you know in a second. I have to say two fifteen, two eighteen. Then do the same procedure uh, in each cylinder. I'll put like two fifteen. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna be like uh, it has to be like between ten to twenty off of each one so i'm gonna start doing the other ones i'm not trying to bore you yet. any further here's the compression test so what you need to do right there my though this the first one was at 200 all right repeat the 68 with all the cylinders so it had to be 14 psi between the cylinders da 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 and da 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 so that's what I'll be doing right now, doing the other ones. All right, guys, um, did the six cylinder, is that 200? I'm gonna show you what I got. Cylinder number one, 210, you guys saw that. And they, uh, cylinder one, 215, uh, second one, 210. Then the third one is 198 PSI. The fourth one is 180. Then uh, cylinder six and five at 200, basically the same. Let's say, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna test these two out because they are the worst ones. So number four is right here. You just grab some engine oil, dump it in there. Let's see if it uh, changed any value to it. Then I'm gonna crank it again. All right, put the oil in there. Just crank this. All right, so number four, now is at 250. Worn out rings on the piston. So I'm gonna do that right now. Is that two, let's say 250 PSI, PSI add oil and then you push this button and then we're gonna do the other side now all right cylinder three it did went up to 24 240 so the oil specs is at 170 
and then the uh, minimum is at 149. I'm gonna add these right now and see how how the big of a difference is. All right, the average is 200, and they're about uh, this one at least is a uh, 15 average for what everybody. The 180 is kind of there. It's not horrible, but at least I know cell number four and three the piston rings are kind of worn but i'm pretty sure it's still good if the psi didn't going up uh with adding the oil it means something wrong with the valves at least i know the valves are fine it's just the piston rings i'm not 100 sure but i'm still i'm pretty sure it's still good because it's not less than 149 and uh all the cylinders are almost all at around 15 a plus or add so this one's the most one that's out. But uh, let's do the, um, uh, see with how the cylinder leak down test. I'm gonna grab that uh, kit right now and show you. All right, get the leak down test. Yeah, he comes with the kit. Uh, I don't know if it's missing some fittings, but I'm gonna reuse the fitting in here. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. Let me double check. All right, it does fit in the one for this kit. We're gonna start putting air to it, and then uh, yeah, I grab a something like a long screwdriver or a uh, extension. All right, so you just I'm using a quarter inch long extension. So this one, you can just try to eyeball it right now. All right, this one's more basically in the middle. That one's more down. This is more up. I'm gonna probably do number. No, wait. Oh, that was a lot lower. Okay, I'm gonna probably do number cylinder number five, uh, six first. All right, and then yeah, just start doing one. I'm gonna do number six right now because that's the tallest. I'm gonna grab a 22 and crank the engine till it's the highest point. Ratchet, guys, let you guys see this in sweet action. All right, it's going down a little bit. So I'm gonna go back up to the other side. I just need to play with it. So right there, then I'm gonna plug in like the compression test. All right, now you have to adjust it with your air compressor. Then you just turn it till it hits zero. Now I got it to zero. Hopefully, I just need to plug it in. And then, that's how she is. Let's see, plug it in. All right, just plugged it in. Zero, okay. So we're good with cylinder number uh, five. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna dry it down. That's good though, I'm happy about that. Uh, so the, I know the piston rings are good. The valves are good. I'm gonna start doing the other ones now. Alright guys, I, I messed up. Is that 20? You can hear it hissing. But it's not too bad. If it's 20 low, I'm gonna see if I can move the piston, see if it does anything different. And then I'll see. So it was a top 10 sudden. I moved the piston because one of the valves are open. Now there are, it's high leakage, but it's at 20% on cylinder number five. So I'll say I'll take that as a good. Now I'm gonna redo these other ones because I messed up. So don't be like me, retarded. So I'm gonna start rechecking these again. All right, all of them are more around this area or lower, so you're good. I'm assuming it's, this is not too bad. Let's say, uh, let's, let me crank the engine. If it's like that, because the valve was open, one of them, then you gotta gotta start listening where it's hissing. All right, let's I can open the intake valve. All right, I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's the intake valve is open and then you can see why all right so i might 
say two, I mean, it's uh, 254, uh, 25, 20, and then uh, five, uh, one, three, and five, 25, and 20. Not horrible, but at least the engine's all right. I'm gonna start putting new plugs in and see if she runs better with the new coil and remove that. Basically, you take out these 12 bolts right here, then this bolt right here. Then you get the connector down there. Uh, I'll just show you right here. So, this is how, uh, how the connector looks like. I don't know if they're supposed to be in the bottom, but this one didn't. And then uh, I'm just gonna put some engine case. That's the part number, that's what the original is supposed to be. And then put everything back on. All right, guys. Um, no, I'm just a little bored. For all you supercharged fans, that's how she looks. Uh, it looks kind of funny. The only thing I see, the only issue I see right now is the throttle body is on an angle. And then I don't know if I can reuse my AEM. Probably have to cut it to make it work. But I'll see how she starts now. Uh, I might try, try to find a stage zero pulley. If, if this engine is actually running good, then I'll get like a stage zero pulley and just running with how he tuned. I'll see how she is and how she sounds. But I'll just give you, just give all you supercharged fans. Anybody can just slap a supercharger and call it a day with the turbo. It's cooler because, yeah, I built it. But, but, um, besides that, let me remove that. I just want to see how she looks. And then if I keep the tip around and I keep the supercharger, I'm going to power record it probably white. I don't know what kind of white, but white. Then probably have this uh, aluminum. Just put a freaking clear coat on top of it. That's my little idea. So let's go back to starting the engine. All right, put the stupid scanner on, and that's what I got now. Just kind of irritated. It is what it is. Got to look it up now. So stay tuned, guys. Have a nice day, night, weekend, where you guys are from. Drive safe and stay dirty.